Welcome to another session from LearnReason.com. My name is Matt. In this session, we're going to go over Reason 12. And I just want to go over everything that comes that's new in Reason 12. And I've seen a lot of videos and no one's really going over everything. I don't understand. So I'm going to. So if you go to ReasonStudios.com, this is what comes up. It's Reason 12. It's brand new. If you've never had it, it's $3.99. If you want to upgrade to, from any other previous Reason, you know, uh, standalone DAW that you own, it's $129. And then if you want to learn about Reason Plus, it's down here. And also, uh, up here, it, it goes to Reason 12 standalone first, and then Reason Plus is here. So. Yes, please. I want to know about Reason 12. And if you click on that, this is what you get. It tells you that Reason 12 has an updated combinator, a mimic uh, creative sampler, high resolution graphics, and a faster browser. Well, it does have more than that. It's not just those four things. So in order to, to find out about that, I don't know why they don't have a... Um, a uh, a link here because there is more that comes in Reason 12 from Reason 11. It's an update. You go to the release notes, and I'll have a link for this down in the, the description of this video. Reason 12 updates, so Reason 11.3.9 was the last update for version 11. Then Reason 12 came. So since this is beta, then it's 12.1. And then I believe the release. So when you buy Reason, you get 12.2. That's what you're getting. And in here, you'll see a lot of new things in each one and bug fixes. New things, bug fixes, and new things and some bug fixes. So let's go over everything and, and see what comes in Reason 12. Okay, first we'll go over the Combinator. The Combinator has been updated. and so. If we go to the utilities and we pull in a combinator, it looks pretty much like the old combinator. It looks better and everything, but you have this new, it's a new mixer option. And let's turn this around first. I'm going to briefly go over this. I'm not going to go in depth of this, this the, all the updates of this. I'm just going to show you what it is. You literally can have 16 inputs into the combinator, or you could have uh, eight stereo. And so what I'm going to do here is simply just do this. I'm just going to show you some easy things here. You can control them. You can make it any color. You can put any kind of picture here that you want. Um, I'm going to do a, a video of going into depth with this. And uh, it's, pr it's pretty simple. It's, it's just like the old combinator. You could easily update stuff. But this is much more... Um, editable, if you will, but it's simply drag and drop here, or I'll show you how you can do it from within it real quick. And you can get some really cool things. And these are things you can just drag in and start editing yourself, you know, making really cool um, instruments, if you will. And you can easily edit this stuff really quickly. It's so simple. You go to configure and here, see this knob? Uh, and you see the, the scaling here? You can change that. This one's light and you can do, uh, you can have it off or you can have it dark. You know, it's very simple to do this stuff. Uh, text color, you can put the, the change the position, you can just, you can do all kinds of stuff. It's really actually very simple, but I'm going to do a separate video on that. So you have the updated combinator and it is pretty freaking cool. I've always wanted more control on it. And now you basically have unlimited control on it. You can control it so many different ways and it has way more inputs, way more inputs to control. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look at the next thing that's new in Reason 12. And that is the insert FX and master FX sections have been reworked 
and are no longer treated as combinators. So this is what it looks like right here. And you can see here, this is the way it looked back in Reason 11 and, you know, previous versions. And you had the, the you basically had the combinator, four buttons and four uh, controller buttons right here in the mixer. So to put an insert in right now, you have to edit the insert. And what you can do is you can just drag in an effect, you know, any effect you want, you can drag it in. Or what you can do is you now can bring a combinator in. But the difference here is, you, uh, the difference is here, you're not going to be able to, let's get this here, Kyle darn it. Here's our, here's our channel. In order to, you know, edit this, we're going to have to go here and edit it. We can't just have these four knobs and four buttons in the mixer like they used to be. I'm not sure why they did this. Um, some people might prefer this. Some people may not. I guess it's personal preference, but that's, and that's the way it is now. Okay. So now the next update is... The sound bank has been updated. 100 new combinator patches added. 1,000 combinator patches has, have been updated to take advantage of the new combinator features. That's, that's quite a lot of uh, combinator. That's a, that's, I guess that's 1,000 uh, effects slash instruments. That's pretty freaking cool. And 100 new instrument patches added. So that's that's pretty awesome. So if you go to combinators, okay, so I searched for some uh, of these new combinators. Uh, they, there's 100 new combinator patches, and of course, they've updated a thousand of them, uh, you know, updating some of the new features. So um, as you search through either the Reason Sound Bank, the Reason Sounds, uh, the Factory Sounds, Drum Loops, uh, Loop, you, you'll, you'll start seeing them, and they are out there, and here's a couple of them here. And uh, this is what they'll look like. They're pretty cool. You know, more buttons, more faders, and, and all kinds of more control. It, it, it is quite powerful, I have to admit. Okay, next is the new Mimic Creative Sampler. And you'll find that in your instruments. And here it is. There's a lot of videos about this. It is, it's, it's pretty awesome what you can do with this. And, and you know here at uh, Learn Reason, we have the... the the Reason Tutorial widget, which you can just scroll, find the Mimic, and there, there'll be videos there for you to learn, easy to find, and, you know, always adding new ones there to help you just, you can just come here, scroll, learn, and, and it makes it really quick and easy. It's the only place like uh, uh, this on the internet. It really is pretty cool. Uh, next is the Regroove Mixer has a new look, and here's the, the, the new look of the the, the regroove mixer, and it does look pretty cool. That's an update. Uh, another update is they significantly enhance speed and stability when scaling graphics. Okay, next is they insert, improve the browser search. And specifically, Reason now indicate, indexes all your rack extensions and locations for for immediate search results. Okay, so if I go here to instru instruments and I type in piano, there you go, piano. If I search uh, drums, see it's, it's, it's searching through the rack extensions and reason, and it does it instantaneously. You don't have to press enter. That's pretty cool. Search, search results are now shown while typing in the search field. Well, okay, so let's go and search in effects, and we'll type in reverb. And it will show all kinds of the different rack extensions and the ones that come in reason. That's pretty cool. The one thing you still have to do, you have to, if you want to search reverb in instruments, say I go reverb, I start, it won't do anything because I'm in instruments. If I do it in click on effects, reverb, 
then it shows all my reverbs. You basically, so when you're using the search, it does work really well, but you, you have to physically be more specific at, at whether you're searching for an effect, a utility, a player, instruments, if you're, if you're in sounds. This is uh, Reason Sounds. Um, let's type in drums. See, it's all kinds of drums with all kinds of different instruments. So it's working nicely. I like that. That's a nice update, believe me. Okay, now there's a new um, command for browser search. It's Command F or Control F. And that's to put the cursor. Okay. See how the cursor's not there? If you pr I'm on a Mac, so I'll press uh, Command F, and now you'll see the cursor's there. That's cool. And also, just to let you know, this isn't an update. It's always been that way. You can press F3 to open or close the browser. F3. F3. All right. And also now, Rex Files now addition in time with your project when the sequencer is running. That's cool. And last but not least, in Reason 12, Reason is now high def. That means the, the mixer, the, all the instruments, the, all the rack extensions, the sequencer, the, the rack, everything is high def, and it does look great, I have to admit. Now... Let's go over something about the, um, the, the, the engine, the video engine. Uh, that, the video engine, they started working on updating it back in 2019. So with that said, it takes a lot of work to update the video engine. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Um, and, I mean, when you're really thinking about this update, if we go back here to the website, and we look at this. The update is only 129. Usually they're 149. Most of the time with all DAWs, they're 149 usually. Uh, they just put this as 129. And of course, you, can, you automatically get it if you have Reason Plus. Um, and if you think about that you're getting, you're getting a new Mimic Creative Sampler, all their new instruments... I mean, all their big new instruments always go for $99. You know, no one ever really, you know, is bummed about that because their instruments are amazing. So that's something to keep in mind. The, you're getting a new creative sampler, which is awesome. And then you're getting some updated. The combinator is like getting a new utility, to tell you the truth. That's what it's like. So, I mean... You know, I think Reason's heading in the right direction. And to really, when you really think about it, I think this, this, uh, this update is, you know, when I really got to looking at it, I mean, it's more than just the four things. It's the four things plus uh, all the other things that I just told you about. And I think it's worth the, the 129 to update. And, of course, if you're a Reason Plus uh, subscriber, you, you have it already. So... I hope this helps you guys out and helps you understand what Reason 12 is and what you get with it. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next session. You guys take care.